Hi, everybody, Hi. and welcome to Poppy's Cucina. We got a fun, easy recipe, fun dessert to make today. We're making an apple pan dowdy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it, weird name, but it is so easy to make and really ridiculously delicious. All right, so keep watching. Let us know. You're ready for it? You love your apples. I know you do. She does. <laughs> Okay, so for this recipe, you're gonna need about three pounds of apples. Um, any kinds of apples you like, I'm doing a combo of Granny Smith and Gala, you know, sort of textural differences and different flavors, some of them are tart, some are more sweet. So you're gonna peel, core, and um, slice these up. Just like that. Next, you're gonna add three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of cinnamon, um, quarter cup of maple syrup, and then the juice of one lemon or about three tablespoons of lemon juice. All right, now we're gonna mix this all up together. It smells good. Just like that. And then you're gonna place your apple mixture into your um, casserole dish, your, you know, whatever baking dish you wanna use. All right, now we're gonna get the topping. You're gonna take your thawed piece of puff pastry and you're gonna cut this up into one inch pieces. You can use a pie crust, like a pre-made pie crust if you want, um, but you know, it really works great with uh, puff pastry if you could get it. Just like that. If the pieces are uneven, <laughs> clearly not a one inch piece, <laughs> it's okay. But a piece of slicer works great doing this. All right, now we're gonna arrange these on top of the pan dowdy. Okay, so I arranged the pieces on top. There's no pattern. You know, they can overlap however you want. Just get them on there. Try to cover as much as you can. Um, you could coat this whole thing with butter now, with melted butter if you'd like, but, you know, I try to cut back on a few calories here and there if you can. So I just sprayed it with a little vegetable spray. So now we're going to loosely cover this, and we're going to bake in a preheated 400-degree oven for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna uncover it and bake for another 15 to 20 minutes, just until the puff pastries are really nice puffed up and browned. All right, let's see how this comes out. Totally forgot to mention, if you wanna make this a little bit sweeter, take some granulated sugar and just dust it on top. Right on top of that puff pastry. So that'll give a nice little sweetness to the pastry itself, even though this pan dowdy is pretty sweet already. I could smell that maple syrup, it's crazy. All right, so now we're gonna cover it and put it in the oven. Okay, so exactly 50 minutes later, I pulled it out of the oven. Look how beautiful it is. Doesn't that look great? All right, but it's really, really hot. So before um, we walk away from this, we're gonna press down on these ever so slightly so they can start absorbing some of those beautiful juices that are underneath. All right, but look at it. Hear that crunch? Do you hear that? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna let this cool fully before we try it. Yum. So we've allowed the pan dowdy to cool. Just look at it, look at all those apples. Oh, this is amazing with vanilla ice cream, but you know, I'm a purist at heart, so I'm gonna try this like this first before I add anything else to it. Let's make sure how it tastes, let's see. That's a nice bite. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, this is so delicious. These apples, the cinnamon, Ooh, the flour just made it so creamy. You get those pops of crunch from the puff pastry. So much like an apple cobbler, but not as sweet because you don't have that buttery and you know sugar crumbs on top, but you're still getting the crunch and everything else because of the puff pastry. Oh my God, this is so good. So easy to make. Mmm. Doesn't need the vanilla ice cream. <laughs> it's perfect like this. Wow. So delicious. And again, less than an hour to make from start to finish. So if you make this recipe, let us know. Enjoy. Oh, so delicious.